Hi, I'm Kaylee Morg. Thank you for watching Hollywire and make sure to subscribe. What's up, Hollywire? We're hanging out with Kaylee Morg. Hi. What's going on? Like I was saying, your voice is sick. Your music video is siren. How did you guys come up with that? That was like the first music video that I completely just like thought of myself. Like everything that you see is literally what I was like saying to the people that were helping me actually put together the sets and make that all happen. Cause I was like, we should try to make like as much of this in the water as possible because it's obviously a siren, but like I didn't know if that was even possible. And then we ended up having like a set where my whole bedroom is like supposed to be kind of underwater and um, having all this fog and stuff. It was like really messy where like in the actual location, but it turned out really well, so yeah. nice. <laughs> what was something that like really stood out to you or was memorable? It was, um, I don't know if there's like a specific part that I was like, this was so cool. I feel like the thing that I remember the most is like just how cold the water was. Because I remember like the, there's this scene where I'm like just fully submerged and there's not a lot of it in the video because it was so cold. Like it was colder than ice water. Like it was freezing and I was like actually scared I was gonna pass out. So that's probably like the first thing I remember just because it was so intense that I was just like actually shivering and struggling to sing like the song. And then how did the song come to be? Like what's your process? It was kind of supposed to be about like indulging in like guilty pleasures and stuff and then just accidentally turned into something about mythology. I was like, wait, this can work. Like we can tie this back into like Medusa. And so now I'm thinking like if I should continue that. So it's kind of a thing that's on my mind, but it's very much just like a random process. So if it happens, it happens. And then you dyed your hair green for Medusa. Yeah, right? I don't know if like it was for Medusa, but I definitely, it kind of just like accidentally, everything I do is an accident. It's just like, oh, this works. Like, cause I, I just, I'm very like spontaneous and impulsive. And I was mm -hmm. like, green is kind of a different color at the time. Like not many people had green hair and it was kind of weird. And it just, yeah, it did like tie into Medusa very well. So I just dyed it green and then it was like the thing, like my green hair. And yeah. then, which is also why I cut it and I like dyed it because I was like, wait, this is so cool, but like listen to my music and like let's not <laughs> completely focus on my green hair because I can, you know, change it up whenever. So I like just chopped it and dyed it <laughs> and now it's pink. It looks good. Speaking of being impulsive, do you ever, are you, do you get tattoos on impulse <laughs> or are, are they all I knew this thought was out? Coming. Half of them are thought about, but for the most part, like the small ones are impulsive. Like the, my hand ones are mainly just me being impulsive, but I've never had that feeling of like, oh, I really regret that. Like my bigger pieces, I have one on my shoulder, like some on my arms that are just like, this was the matching one with my mom. Like some, a lot of them do have sentiment and they're nice. What was your first one? I have um, this one on my shoulder and I got that when I was 17 and my dad owned a tattoo shop. So it just made it really hard for me to not like just go crazy and have a bunch of tattoos. So I like tried to contain myself, but I had like three before I turned 18. <laughs> and then when I turned 18, I just like, it just kind of came about from there. And now I'm slowing myself down. So I still have room <laughs> to do whatever I want in the future. Yeah. Okay, I read something somewhere and I really hope it's true. Um, you practice witchcraft. I, I haven't been lately, but at first like I was kind of diving into it a little bit and I was mainly like focusing on reading about it and educating myself before I like started practicing it because there is a lot of like aspects to it and I wanted to make sure I was prepared and also like mentally was ready for something like that if I wasn't like, you know, I just wanted to make sure everything was like safe and cool. How do you like study it? For me, I just thought it would be a really smart move to like know how that started and like what it was really coming from. And um, but I d I got more into crystals because that just seemed a little bit like more like a day to day thing to me. Yeah. So that's kind of more what I'm into is like the crystal healing, and I'll do like some <clears throat> like essential oil stuff, and just kind of that stuff's like more easy for me to apply to my day to day life than doing like rituals and spells all the time. <laughs> I have done rituals before, but they're just, those are more simple and more about like yourself than it is like changing things in the outside world. So they're fairly simple. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much. It thank was really you. great getting to know you. All right guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.